Good evening, good evening. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Indie, Indie Boys Show, Show where, where artists, artists can, can listen, listen, learn, learn and, and grow, grow with knowledge and power success. And, and, and now, now, here, here is your host, host singer, singer, songwriter, songwriter entrepreneur, Miss Wendy, Wendy. Just have to say thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. For chasing the rain away. You and I are here today. Storm clouds rise, but I'm not afraid. Trust you and all you do. All you do. I got to find my way through the storm. Reach up through the clouds hey, into your arms. No matter how I feel today, every time you pass my just have to say thank you baby for chasing the rain away you and I are here today storm clouds rise but I'm not afraid I trust you and all you do you do you do Everything you do for me, you make the storm seem less cloudy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. switching that camera back around. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Indie Voice Show. I am your host, Wendy Hicks, and we have Soundproof Genie in the house. I am super excited. They graciously accepted an invitation to come and join us. Um, in in uh, celebration of graduation season and you know, there was actually Howard's graduation was earlier today and had a chance to listen to the um, the guest speaker. She sounded like uh, 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 Michelle Obama, but it wasn't her. But she was still very good. Um, so anyway, we're talking, you know, we're talking about transition and progression and what you can do to move forward in your dream, in your musical dream specifically today. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be joined. Yeah, come on up so I can, you know, get a chance to talk to you guys and know who you are and how y'all been together. So, uh, Soundproof Genie is they're they're um, moving and shaking and um, taking strides to start performing in some of the festivals and 
Um, and are you guys booking like gigs out of state as well? Or yeah, so we're gonna talk. Look, you look like a dwarf in it. That seat I fell, know, didn't, fell down, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we, um, so you know, tell the viewing audience about Soundproof Genie. How you guys came about? Let's see. We've got P Script T in the house. Raynetta J. Bala. Hey, Bala. <laughs> and Jolly D. Yes, welcome. So, you know, tell me a little bit about Soundproof Genie. How did you guys get started and how did you come to be where you are today? Well, long story short, um, I was in a band and I was lucky enough to meet a guy like Paul who came along and had a project together. And um, him and I started recording it and then we were gracious enough to meet, but well, to start working with Bala and he put such a really good feel to the music and then Dave came along and just really just set the whole thing on fire. So after that, we've just been kind of trying to do shows and- Nice. So how long how long ago was this that you guys got together? About two years now, almost two years, right? Okay. Next April, it'll be two years. So did you start like in doing studio work or you just started right away with the live performances? Yeah, we started uh, with the studio work. Paul had written the entire project and wow. he had right, basically Paul. produced the entire thing and had this idea and came to me with it, and so I kind of just gave it my jazz feel along with his, and we just, we made remote control, so. So what would you say your your genre of music? It sounds like it's a fusion of different sounds, so how would you best describe it? Um, we just basically are trying to come up with the certain frequencies um, that, uh, that y'all get situated here. Yeah, sorry about that. Perfect. Yeah, you know, I don't know about the genre really. I guess um, music has changed so much over time, it's hard to classify whatever's going on now, you know, without putting it too much into a box. It's just, it's, it's, it's a unique sound because of the influences and the, the, all, all of our different backgrounds and music coming together. It kind of gives it that, that unique sound. I mean, all I know that I try to do with music is at least come up with some some kind of sound or frequencies that just feels good to people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Disrupts bad intentions, right. you know, in the, in, the, in the universe. So that's that's really my own, my sole purpose with music anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I know the camera's only pointing at me and Sarah. The two other key players oh, are right yes. over here. Bala, Bala want to come in. Yeah, so we got <laughs> drums and percussion on the side. Um, so, yes. you know, they add the groove to it. But, but yeah, uh, we... We were just lucky in that um, the DC DMV musical community is fairly small. So any of my friends out there that are checking it that I might have played with, I just want to send love out to everybody out there that nice. you know that any of us might have done musical projects with. But uh, we all just happened to cross paths when I was um, finishing a recording project, um, mm -hmm. and so we almost we had a, a, a little catalog of music that. Um, you know, it just came together that we had the music, we had the, the space and the time and the energy and availability to make it come together this, this past year to really start to get out there and play. Good. So where are some of the places that you perform? Um, you know, yeah, we, we, we got, we, we lined up a couple of shows in, in New York, which was, which was a, an adventure, you know, it was a fun adventure to kind of break the ice up there. It wasn't her first time playing up there, uh, yeah. you know, but it was um, our first time. Um, and, um, you know, we've done Tacoma State, we've done local, locally some of the, the well-known spots, you know, if it's Tacoma Station, um, 930. Um, I mean, DC9. Yeah, DC9 and, and some of the ones around, but we're definitely looking forward to, to branching out. Mm -hmm. uh, we got, um, we actually got an opportunity to play at the, the International uh, African Arts Festival, which hopefully all that's going to come together. That has been a big festival in the past in Brooklyn, so that should be fun too. Nice. And Hard Rock Cafe, come see us, May 20th. Plug. Yeah, <laughs> well that's good. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Please come see us. We're in a competition for Hard Rock Cafe. All so. right, um, what, let's see. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and be right back. You know, I'm gonna stand, cause you know the guests. Um, uh, we're gonna come right back and we're gonna hear a little bit from uh, Bala here. Bala. Yes. No? No, it's fine.
Yes. Oh, I tell you, I feel like we're one big happy family now. Yes. You know, I appreciate um, go, going back to what you were saying, um, Peace Grip T, um, in terms of like the positive message in music. And one of the things that um, one of the things that I'm really passionate about is uh, influencing the up and coming generation and helping to make a contribution to them that, you know, in terms of the, the, the music that is being written um, lyrically, um, sending positive messages, um, you know, and, and we speak to our experience. I get that. And our experiences aren't always warm and fuzzy. But I think that um, the music has just gone in, in a different direction. And how you express is how you express. But I like, I like the music that takes me back, that reminds me of those great memories. Mm -hmm. And so um, definitely I ask my guests that come on the show, um, I'm putting together a workshop and we'll definitely be doing some things um, with the youth, trying to help like, if, like with songwriting, learning how to write, um, mm -hmm. and just putting all those pieces together to kind of just shape the way music is going. So hopefully you guys will be a part of that as well. Yeah, so now we, we ended before the commercial talking. Oh, let's first, let's show. Y'all see the CD cover, right? I don't know yes. if we can pan in on that. <laughs> That's the genie. And it's called Remote Control, title of the project. Um, iTunes. Okay, it's available on, you can go ahead and. iTunes, Amazon, go get it. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify, iHeartRadio. Okay. Now, in, ter in terms of, <laughs> one of the things, okay, so you talk about, and we're going to have Heather come on a little later to give more specifics on, in terms of scheduling, um, how important it is to know when you should start making your submissions or submitting your applications to perform in these festivals. Mm -hmm. But another thing that's really important is packaging. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely, and I, I think I have a screenshot of a part of your press kit. Okay. And In terms of, um, let's talk about that in terms of, you know, uh, marketing yourself in the best light as, as, that you possibly can and putting that together? Well, I mean, it, 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 nowadays you kind of got to be an expert at all, all things. I mean, it's, it's, it's like more of a do-it-yourself type of environment right now than, than ever before. So, I mean, if you don't, if you don't have IT skills, if you don't, you know, you got to be able to search for stuff you got to be able to know how to find things you got to know how to build a, a page up and then then it's like okay once you build a page up how does it look what colors what pictures how do you need you know, do you need to edit pictures mm -hmm. you got to do everything you know um and so a lot of it at least for myself is has been just trial and error just keep trying things try to build it up and um you know if you can get other opinions you know Mm -hmm. Try to get other opinions, other input. Um, but I think the hardest thing, the biggest thing that leads to frustration is how much you rely on other people and them not having mm -hmm. the, the follow through that you you may or may not deserve or expect or whatever. It just doesn't happen all the time. And that ends up frustrating you and setting your, your energy off mm -hmm. in, in accomplishing things. So all I've tried to do is just... You know, while I'm waiting to hear back from somebody, I'm busy learning what it is that I was asking them to do. Because mm -hmm. in the end, I don't want to be, uh, you know, uh, still waiting. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It can be a little. Actually, while we're interviewing, too, can we play some of the music in the background? Please do. Yeah, play some of the music. Please do. Um, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jeannie. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. That's, that is in, in Huh? Oh yeah, let's talk about the genie. The genie. The genie. <laughs> about the genie Sit right? down. Inquiring Relax. minds want to know. Uh, we went back and forth for a long time trying to figure out the name. Um, I think I was the one who was actually against the word genie being in there. Until uh -huh. I was brought to light by my bandmates here. Uh huh. Um, yeah, Poof. Was, the genie. The for just by itself, but hey, I think the genie adds more mystery. Yes. A little bit of something that's familiar yet unfamiliar adds a little bit of mystery and myth, but not necessarily any one specific mystery or myth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot. It builds character. It, it, it allows you to re -in, like innovate on or build on just being different. Mm -hmm. I just feel like the soundproof and the genie just went together. It had 
such a good element for how we build build our music. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things, because Heather is the person that um, that introduced us, and shout out to Heather who will be here soon. Yeah, Heather. <laughs> yeah. And um, Heather was explain or trying to describe to me in terms of you guys as a unit. She, she was saying that they're, you know, that you you because you used to sing, you were a solo Rock and artist, roll. Yeah. right? And and then and it's like it's not really a solo artist and a, a band supporting her. It's a whole unit whole together. Unit. I know that's got to be, um, it, it can be kind of scary when you're on your own, but it's got to be great to work with a team of, of, of like-minded folks and Most creative time. and, yeah, you're saying yes? And oh, you're, yeah, I agree. You're the baby <laughs> of the group, right? Yeah, I was, I was one of the newest people in the group. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, so now, you so um, Paul, you had all the music. Did you have the lyrics as well, or did the band contribute to the writing? I mean, I, I had lyrics, but... Um, when Rainita got onto it, it was um, she added so much to it. It just it was like yeah, I wrote it, but it, it didn't ma didn't mean anything until she really embodied it because she's got a way of um, you know doing it like it's supposed to be done, really internalizing the message and letting you feel it through her. Mm -hmm. And so the, you know the interesting dynamic. I mean, I think. I'm not going to say it's a mistake, but I think some people, because they can sing, it's not in her case at all. She's it's a great a writer, but I think some people, because they can sing, they try to write their own worry. stuff. Mm -hmm. And that can be cool, but it's interesting when they're interpreting some lyrics that somebody else wrote, because then it almost, then it really has a different angle on it. Like, I write something, I say, okay, maybe that's a clever line or something like that. And to me, it was clever, but then coming from her, you know, her background, her perspective, and all that, all of a sudden, this got real cool. Be caught by you know, it just, it enhanced everything that we did, just for the collaboration. By living proof through exploration. It's like it was meant to be, right? Yeah, but I think when we started to Keeping put it together by, and added Bala, it turned oh, into With both these guys. Can't, I go back with Dave. I mean, I used, to, I used to work with my man Nefta Vending right across the street on the corner here years ago. We go back to the Soul Veg days. We go back, you know, we were, we were in this area, so it's really special for us to just be here at this moment together with each other and be today. You know, it's really, it's really good that we're bringing this back. But, but yeah, going back to the lyrics thing for a second, I do think people that are out there. If, if what you're writing isn't really pushing the boundaries at all, you know, work with somebody else that that's what they do is, is write lyrics and write interesting things. That's what's going to set you apart. Mm -hmm. right. You know, actually, I just got an email from uh, the music industry right before I came here. And the music industry said, right now, if you're a lyricist and all you write about is relationships with the opposite sex or clubbing or jugging or whatever, that all those job positions are full right now. <laughs> There's no more no. job positions open. <laughs> so no you can still be an extra in the video, but outside of that, you need to maybe dig a little deeper or, um, you know, do some reading or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. They're all full. As you check your email. You might have got an email. They need to <laughs> resend it. That's funny. Again and again. So let's go back to um, we were talking about how, as far as like packaging yourself and and portraying yourself in the best light. You had mentioned that um, you know, from what I gather from what you mentioned in terms of learning to do it all. Um, one of the things that I start the show off with, I didn't do it today um, because we were ch changing things a little bit. But I get a lot of articles from the indie indie bible. You guys heard of yeah. oh, So I tried to get One of the things that about how you really don't want to be, a, number one, it's, it is important to have a team, and it is important to kind of work together as a team and try to identify your strengths. But one of the things um, that the article said was you don't want to be perfect at something other than your craft. Because if you're focusing too much on the web design, if you're focusing too much on, you know, putting together your package, then 
you're not being or focusing on the best you can be as an artist. So you gotta kind of be careful with that. And with that, um, do you uh, do you ever reach out and and have like you know do you hire people to do like your photos or then do you do that on your own as well? Um, it's it's the same thing. We we reach out. Sometimes people follow through. Sometimes they don't, <laughs> yeah. and then we got to do it ourselves. Yeah. You know? yes. so we're in that phase right now where um, because you know we um, we're, we're pushing hard. We, we don't have we, we want stuff to be good. We want it to be quality. You know, so um, we're reaching out to anybody that wants to, to work with us and, and be professional. Like we'll be professional, so that's that's all you can do out there. Just try to be professional. Like I said, people are gonna let you down here and there. You gotta either go to the next person or learn how to do what you were gonna have them do and do it better than what they how they were gonna do it. You mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, I tell you what, we're gonna take a break and then I want to come back with some. Uh, we're gonna hear some more tunes. Yeah. Oh, let's show the video. Yes. Let, we want to watch it, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that my my family that's watching on Facebook Live, Heather says, "Hey, she's coming, hey she's girl. coming." Hey, Heather, um, you need to tune in to Listen Vision Live so that you can actually see the videos that we're playing. I want you guys to make sure you check out um, uh, again. Check 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 the group out. And what's the name of the video we're about to see? I don't know. Which one? Which one the, are you um, oh, your latest. Um, Nothing at all. Which yeah, the one at, um, at the at the metro. Oh, that's oh, that's Hollow, Hollow, Hollow Love. Love. Yeah. Yes, Hollow Love. We're getting ready to see Hollow Love, and then we'll come back and you will see them live and in color. Shout out to V, the artist. V A. V A.
If you see cold cry on the block in the hood, then it's understood the man, he's up to no good. Bringing garbage through the door, trying to raise the temperature, and dirty up the water, and make it harder to breathe. Off a trip by the allure, never sure how we're ever gonna endure. No way to defend all the borders, can't send all the hoarders. All in her ocean grave, there's nothing left to say. All her stars are dead, she's been hooked in the head and dragged out of bed. How's the story ever gonna end? Oh, 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 one thing's for sure, you know she's really gonna need some new friends. See Coral cry. See coral cry, see coral cry, 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 see coral cry, oh how she cries, the way she, she cries. Cry, the tears in her eyes. Oh, 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 oh,
got me moving by remote control. No way to know who pulls the strings that make me come and go to and fro. It's a battle for my soul, so hard to not let go. Hard just to keep control of me. Who is me? Now I see. Now I realize the fear that's deep inside had me blind to see how to be free. Ain't no strings on me. Second verse one. Want me to abide by the words that have criticized me, cast me out and pushed aside the feelings I hold inside. Want me to live a lie, and a part of me dies in a way. But that's another story for another day. That's deep inside Had me blind to see How to be free Ain't no strings Ain't no strings on me Not on me Not on me strings that make me come and go, come and go. Now I realize the fear that's deep inside had me blind to see how to be free. Ain't no strings, ain't nothing attached to me. No, 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 no. You could find another but it won't be me, no, not me, no, not me. Oh, 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 music's supposed to make you feel right yeah. golly yes. man you guys uh tore this th this um station up thank you and thank you for doing another song i appreciate that i wish we had time for more time goes by so fast but before we run out of time let the audience know um your upcoming events again and how they can stay connected and follow you okay so where you can find us guys you can find us on facebook you can find us on um, Instagram, All Soundproof Genie. We have a gig coming up May 20th at the Hard Rock Cafe here in DC. So try and check that out. Starts from 7 to 11, I think. Uh, come root for us. We, we want to put DMV, you know, give us a small little face of soul around here. Um, and then we have a few other gigs that Paul could probably tell you about. 
Well, like I said, coming up, um, hopefully we're going to have a good, uh, a, a nice trip to Brooklyn for the festival up there, the International Af uh, African Festival. Um, doing a, a festival in Pittsburgh. Um, and uh, just, you know, if you, as long as you look for us on Facebook, Soundproof Genie, uh, you'll see where we're up, where we're at next. You know, stuff is popping up. Uh, we're in the, the summer, spring season, festivals, gigs, everything's kind of popping up, so it's hard to stay ahead of it all. But, uh, but yeah, Tacoma Park Festival, that's coming up uh, later on. Shout out to Jolly D. Um, and uh, just check us on Facebook, and that's, that's the way to, to, to keep in touch. And, you know, for other positive, conscious uh, artists, musicians out there, just, you know, we trying to send out love to you guys. Hopefully, uh, you know, we'll link up, we'll cross paths, we can yeah. unite, join forces, just try and push the needle of music in a little bit more in the other direction uh, that, it, that, you know, we wanted to go in so definitely i appreciate you saying that because we don't have enough collaborative efforts mm -hmm. here you got people that are all siloed uh, you know in little groups with each other but really not a whole lot of mm -hmm. you know a lot of and 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 maybe not so much a lot of collaboration but support definitely yeah. support you know support local yeah. music yes yes yeah. jolly d you, you haven't spoken you want to say something well, I'm Jolly D. I'm the guest artist, percussionist. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, when I hear good music, I want to be part of it. Right. So these are friends, and when I have friends, I like to support them. Yes. All right. So it's a two combination. That's so right. So I love to play with them, and um, I like to see what they're doing. And um, P. Script is a genius. Okay. Very understated, but um, he's making it all happen. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, I hope they take off. Hard and hard when they do, I'll be there to, and, you know, they passion. can drag me along with them. He's in the band. He just doesn't know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we just got to get a picture now, of them. You, know, That's you know what it is, though. It ain't. I think for me, it's just all I can say that I do good is I got good taste in music. So the, my influences are, are the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, that's the only thing I feel like I can do good is I know, you know, I know the people that I like, and I know that they're the real heroes. That that bar, they set that bar up real, real high. You mm -hmm. know, and mm -hmm. so. You know, it, it's like I, I said this once before. The kids today have more reference to music than, I, you know, I ever than any other generation in history of music. They mm -hmm. could go back and study from the beginning of music to now, right. and it's all there for them. I just, you know, they got to get past the ADD to to do that yeah. research and and yes. you know. yeah, start gravitating towards some roots. Find some roots and gravitate towards. Them. Yeah. Yes. That's the real deal. Yeah. Yes. Well, gosh. Well, again, I thank you guys for for coming out. Um, I appreciate you, and, and hopefully you'll come back and see us again. You're an angel. You're oh, an angel. Oh, an angel. Thank the you. genie thank loves you. you. So let's, let's uh, we got to do our Set Your Mind, Set Your Weekend. We're really doing something different tonight. We got Max in the house. He had a great quote. What is it, Max? I just had a quote. I was just talking talking some something. Um, but no, I was just saying that uh, the law of energy is that it's never bossed. It's only transferred. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. think about that. If it don't come out. In the wash, it come out in the rinse. All right, all right. Sh shout out to Heather from yes. for connecting us up too. Yes, yeah. and Heather, um, she ran into problems getting here, but we'll definitely have to have her come back because she's going to really talk to us about how you can, you know, get involved with the festivals. When is a good time to start submitting your your information, and some things that are even going on here in D.C. that a lot of artists probably really don't know about. Um, there are certain magazines, publications that you can um, subscribe to. Um, blog groups, all different types of resources that I'm sure people aren't aware of. So, you know, she'll be back to share knowledge with that and also um, at some point, too, talk about how to monetize on social media because that is definitely needed as well. I know I don't do it well, monetize. Matter of fact, I don't monetize at all. I need help. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> mm -hmm. but anyway, I, <laughs> I thank you guys again. We've got a whole audience. Hello, everyone. Right. See, did y'all hear the music outside? Yeah. Yes, yeah. see. So again, we thank you so much. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, come back next week. Indie Voice uh, with, with me, Wendy Hicks. And I want to thank Kevin. Kevin, producer to the stars. We got Max, broadcast engineer to the stars. Yes. Intern John, thank you for helping and joining John. Intern John. We got John. <laughs> soundproof. John. <laughs> yes, my girl Minnie, South Carolina. Hello, love you. Thank you guys. Make sure you come out and support. Bye. Mwah.